सो दिस इज कम्प्लीट ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ हाउ टू ड्रॉ रियलिस्टिक ईयर और हाउ यू कैन मेक ईयर्स इन रियलिस्टिक वे और मोर ब्यूटिफुल वे सो लेट जस्ट स्टार्ट दिस ट्यूटोरियल एज वी ऑल नो दैट दैट सम पार्ट ऑफ द फेस इज लाइक ईयर्स नोज लिप्स दिज आर द पार्ट्स विच आर मोर टफर बट every human has different type of ears every humans have different type of nose and this type of things but the main thing is that basic structure of ear nose and this type of things like basics like lips and this things are same so what i'm telling you is is that make outlines first then go for more shading and this type of things but while making outlines you have to keep on focusing that skin texture don't have outlines clothes um what i can say clothes ornaments or something a person is wearing have outlines of course but skin texture doesn't so while making outlines of face structures or skin texture you should you should focus that your outlines should blend with the skin texture so use less to less pressure while making outlines i will recommend that go for three or four boxes at a time you can also go for two, uh, if you are a beginner go for one or two boxes so that you can apply more and more more and more details to your sketches then first of all make outlines and if you can focus the outside part of the ear is more lighter as compared to inner part and the main reason is that most of the time what happens that if light source is coming from front of course the shadows will be on the back hand side and if the light source is coming from upwards direction of course shadows will be on the downward side of the ear so you have to keep on focusing where the light source is where the highlights are where the shadows are of course every time if the light source is not directly on ears 90% time what happens is that inner part of the ear are more darker so let's just start with making the outlines of the ears first using edge pencil which is the lightest one just don't apply pressure right now just make every outlines that you see for the ears after making outlines just keep st- start making shading uh, after shading you can have to make shades look more beautiful like don't apply pressure while ma- making shades now again as a base layer which was of edge pencil blend it using a tissue after blending it just focus that some parts are more darker right like inner part of the ear is more darker as compared to outer part of ear so use 2b pencil for those parts and shade it then again blend it using a blending stump and after blending use a makeup brush or paint brush and use those a rub more rough parts to every single outside parts you so that your ear look similar to every skin texture around it so after using 2b pencil again go for 3b pencil for more darker parts like the inner part of ear is more darker right so use 3b pencil for those more darker parts again use blending stumps to blend them and again use a mono eraser for making outlines highlights like the outside part of the ear is more highlighted right like direct light is coming on those parts so use a mono eraser but just don't rub every part of the outside part of the ear use mono eraser on the only on the only parts which are more highlighted or more lighted so after using this type of things now again use 4b pencil for the inner part of the ear just keep on focusing on where the darker parts are because if you will use 2b pencil on that 4b part it will not look too good but if you will use 4b pa- 4b pencil on the 2b parts it will look totally weird so of course you have to start from a basic which is a edge pencil and go further up to 5b pencil like the uh, innermost part of the ear is completely dark so you can go for up to 5b or 6b pencil to make those parts so after finally making those parts every single parts now again you should use a mono eraser to create highlights finally after creating highlights like the scent like this uh, inner part of the ear is more dark right as we all know but the topmost and the bottom most part of the ear are layer a bit more same but the bottom most part of the ear are more highlighted or more whiter as compared to upper most part and the reason is that light sources directly on those part so of course 
don't just make it into a white drawing paper just shade it and it should look like a etch pencil it should not look like a complete mess or it should not look like a complete white paper as every skin texture and every skin color should be visible on your paper so this is how you can make ears if you have any questions regarding this tutorial you can comment down below and if you don't if you don't know anything about how to make realistic sketches just comment down below i will make a tutorial for you all bye, -bye. so that was all for this tutorial if you have learned something from this video subscribe and drop a like and comment down your question and queries regarding this tutorial meanwhile take care take care of your loved ones too have an artistic day tattoos